Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to actually turn on your voice to text tool on your Chromebook. So when you are on your Chromebook and you're looking to do some talking that can then get translated or turned into text on your screen, uh, this is the tool you want to use. So you're going to come down here to your little start button and you're going to, if you don't see the settings right here, then you're just going to short search for settings and get that little settings wheel. Once you click on that, in the little search space here, we're going to do, uh, oops, text, sorry, voice to text and or text to speech is, is uh, speech to text is what we're looking for here. So we're going to click on that and it's going to bring us to this page right here. And the button you're looking for is this one right here that says dictation, type your voice, use search, the search button plus D and then start speaking. So we want to make sure that is on. If it's off, it'll look like this. And so you'll just click on that little toggle and it will show uh, different pieces of information here. It will ask what language, right? So language in this case is uh, English, United States, and also uh, that is processed locally and works offline. This means you don't have to be on the internet once you set this up. You can change that and you can select a variety of other languages that are here. So if you also wanted to do Spanish, and it'll give you several different choices around Spanish. Um, so lots of different languages you can choose from. And then once you select one, so for instance, I might choose Spanish from Dominican Republic and I can hit update and then it will update that. Uh, I'm going to cancel for now. But just know that that option is there. Um, and then you have another option of Swix switch access, which is control your device with one or more switches. Switches can be uh, keyboard keys, gamepad buttons, and uh, or dedicated devices. So if you wanted to be able to quickly choose switch back and forth, you could turn this on and then it would ask you for, okay, what are those tools? Right, and so now it's gonna actually walk you through that. Again, I'm gonna actually cancel out of that and I'm gonna go back to switch access and turn it off. All right, so now that we have it activated, one of the things you will see is right down here, this little icon that is the microphone, right? And so in order for us to make use of that, we actually have to put our cursor somewhere that we can type text. So I put it here up in this little search box. And if you notice right down here, it's now no longer grayed out, but I can actually select it. So I can select and now say, uh, Notice it's actually typing what I'm saying here. And this might not be useful because none of this is gonna return results. So I might click that out. Oh, but it's gonna actually record or it stopped recording once I did that. So this isn't a great example of it, but let's actually go into a Google doc, right? And so now if I'm in here and I select dictation, notice it's gonna actually start dictating. At this point, I can say period. And notice that it actually put in said period. So the thing you're noticing also is that if it is highlighted, then it's just going to keep replacing it. So I've moved the cursor and now it's no longer highlighted and it's capturing the words that I'm saying. And now it's going to actually, when I pause, drop it into the space. And it gives me some guidelines there of things to do when I stop, you know, and those are some some commands, some vocal commands I can give it in order for me to move along. Now, as you can see, this is a little clunky and convoluted, right? It's just long space or long text after text. And so this is where you just want to be a little bit uh, aware that, yes, it will do voice to text, but you will also have to go back and either put in the different placeholders, such as periods and commas and things like that, or as you're talking, you'll want to insert them. So I'm going to stop and let this actually provide all the text that I've just said. Period. So I can actually vocally insert punctuation. So at the end of the sentence, I might say something like period. 
then I might move on to something else and talk for another sentence and then add then end that sentence with period. So this is something you just might want to be aware of, period. You can include punctuation as you go along, particularly around sentences, and it will actually insert that, period. But what it doesn't insert, unfortunately, are things like commas or semicolons, both of which I'm still trying to figure out how to use. But at least you can get a good start with this and then use things like grammar checkers or Grammarly to more effectively uh, add text. But notice just in the few minutes we've been talking here, this, you know, this page is already filled up with a couple hundred words. And there they are. So I can use it there. I can also use it in this space, right? So if I want to search for something, I can come down and make sure I have this turned on and say something like, oh, now it's already adding. So this is where it gets a little bit technical, or a little bit difficult of trying to make sure you use it exactly when you want to. And that's why it has those hut buttons um, or th those access buttons that when we looked at the settings. Still, this should provide you with some really good ways of using voice to text to actually build out different types of writing and different types of work. So I hope that is useful and I hope this video has given you some new ideas. Thank you so much.